Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of what is in our stand today. Today we're going to talk about um, paracycling shorts. So it's more of a product review. So if you're new to the channel, we talk about bike repair, bike servicing, we talk about new products, we talk about new technologies, and from time to time I do cover the COVID-19 supply shortages and how frustrating they are for me as a business owner. So if that, if those are the type of topics that you find interesting, please don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. We are at 198 subscribers to the channel and today is March the 26th of 2021 and I'm so I'm trying so hard to get to 200 subscribers. So those of you who have, who have already subscribed, thank you so much. And those of you who are watching without being subscribed, please, if you would, please uh, just hit that subscription. Also, if you could hit that notification bell so that you'll get notified when I release a new video. Um, and, and of course, like it so the YouTube, YouTube algorithm can find this content relevant and um, boost it up in searches or, or even suggest it to people. Okay, enough about that. So what we're going to talk about today is a pair of shorts from Pearl Izumi. Now, as far as clothing goes... Um, this being a high-end shop, I carry a lot of high-end brands and sometimes it makes sense to position Pearl Izumi as an option. So, um, for example, um, the top of the food chain arguably is Asos. They're from Switzerland and they have very, very high quality clothing and I think their entry level bib short is at about $170 or so. And then it goes up to $300 plus. Um, they used to have a $450 bib short at one time. Um, so we have Asos, Nalini, um, Santini, BMA, and several other brands. But Pearl Izumi sometimes offers, well, not sometimes, many times offers a lot of range and um, a very good value. So what we're going to talk about today is the uh, Pro Air Pearl Izumi bib short. Now this is brand new. Um, I I haven't worn them, but um, so excuse the noise for a second. And so my personal experience with these shorts is that I already own a pair in small and I weigh about 150 pounds. I'm about 5'9 and, you know, fairly medium build. I, I don't have really large legs or a really skinny upper body um, like a, a, a most typical cyclist um, would have. So I've been wearing small in most other things that are Pearl Izumi and, uh, you know, small jerseys, small uh, uh, shorts, uh, bib shorts, by the way. So I thought, OK, fine, I can go with a small, but this is their pro line. So it's it's really, really um, uh, well, small <laughs> and what they have done is I would consider this because they call it pro. I would consider this more of a pro um, fit, a race fit. So instead of a club fit or American sizing, if you will. So with other brands, even um, Asos, I sometimes struggle to get into a medium in an Asos. Um, but anyway, so this short, bib short, has... Um, some very interesting properties to it, and I wish to talk to you about them. So, number one, they a lot of this is just bonded, and so there is no stitching, there's no seams. Um, the, the bib straps 
is a laser cut material. So this is the back of it. And I, as I mentioned, I, I ordered a small for myself. I, I wore it and it was, it was quite a bit tight. So I thought, okay, let's go with a medium instead. Um, because we sometimes have our fat days and our skinny days, right? So at least now I'll have an option. Uh, there are times I get down to about 146 pounds or so, 145 um, for A climbing races, but um, my body tends to gravitate to 150. So I think the medium is, is, a, is going to be a better fit. Now, one thing in particular that I notice is that the inseam is quite long on these. And I think um, it just depends on what you're used to. But um, I thought they were a little bit long, but that's okay as well. Um, the good good news about that is it's still kind of chilly um, here in, in Southern California in uh, late March. Uh, we get... We get down into the 40s in the mornings. Uh, we're headed to Julian tomorrow, so a 122-mile ride with 10,000 feet of climbing. And Julian is up over 4,000 feet, and they'll have freezing temps overnight. We hope to get there sometime about five, uh, four-ish hours into the ride, so about noonish, And uh, it should be in the mid-50s, hopefully. <laughs> But um, yeah, so it's got reflective piping on the back, which is kind of nice. And so one on each leg. And this material is, is claimed to be a French made material, which is interesting because most cycling clothing and most brands like to promote the fact that their clothing is an Italian fabric. So um, Italian textiles are really sought after for clothing. Uh, so anyway, it's a French made fabric. It is really, really light. And I consider that a nice little benefit. They also have uh, on their pro line, they have a kind of like a knit type of upper on their cycling shoe, which is a very, very lightweight shoe as well. So they're targeting lightweight equipment, lightweight jerseys, lightweight shorts, lightweight shoes. Um, so I guess if you're a climber, that's one way to reduce some weight. And um, one of the other things I wanted to show you is their chamois is, and this was very popular or made popular by Asos years ago in one of their S. So they have um, a sequential S series of bibs. And so uh, they're up to S9 now. But I think it started at least back in the S5 series of, of, of bib shorts. So what they do is, Pearl Izumi here, you notice how this pad just doesn't have, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't really have, it, it's just, it's really flat. And there's no, no contours, there's no uh, channels, there's no, there's nothing. And what they've done is, this top panel is actually separate from what's underneath. And so underneath, it's hard to show you because you can't see it. But underneath it, you have, maybe this will show it to you. It has this pad. Uh, that's where your split is, right? So there's nothing there. And then there's two pads for your sit bones. And then a, another channel that runs all the way down through the perineum area. So on the top part that touches your skin, there's no channels, there's no, there's no seams, there's nothing like that. And then all the articulation of the pad is all done where the short touches the saddle. So a very ingenious design. And like I said, I think it was Asos that created that first. Now, a um, couple of things that we should talk about in general. Um, a great pair of shorts is absolutely necessary for, you know, to enjoy your ride. 
but you know there are three contact points with you and the bike your hands with the handlebar so you should choose a proper handlebar that fits your hand properly um, some people like flat tops some people like rounds some people like aero bars uh, I'm sorry an aero road bar and then there's also your shoes with your pedal interface so your cleats your cleat position and your shoes your insole and things like that and then also your shorts and your saddle so each one of those is very personalized to to you as a rider and it could be the search for the holy grail on on your saddle uh, and some shorts but each one of these things helps you enjoy your ride a lot more but here's the thing none of those things can help and um I mean, there's no way to ignore the fact that if you have an improper bike fit, you could spend a ton of money on your saddles and shorts and shoes and all this other stuff. But if you don't have a good bike fit, then all of this is for naught. So just a couple of things I wanted to talk about this short. It is light. It is super thin. It is very compressive. It has reflective piping and one of the other things that is very very important is it is super comfortable I've already ridden the small uh, even though it was tight I've already ridden it on several hundred milers and several 10,000 foot climbing days so I strongly recommend this short um, I can leave a link on my in the description if you care to purchase this short I haven't talked about price because, well, I thought that that was one of the things that I would save for last. So this is a $299 bib short, which is quite high for Pearl Izumi. They, they usually, their bread and butter stuff is about 100 to maybe the 200 mark. And, they, and by the way, a $100 Pearl Izumi or a $200 uh, bib from Pearl Izumi is a very very good value I've I've owned them before I, I use them as well but here at the shop I always like to test and evaluate product before I recommend it to my customers so I always because I'm a high-end shop I always buy the top of the line stuff try it out see if it's worth it and then I recommend it to my customers here in the store and, and now with my YouTube viewers so at $299 yes it is quite expensive but I honestly think this is a very, very, very good bib short. So um, if you have any comments or questions or maybe down below you can post uh, some of the bib shorts that you use or maybe another question. Do you ride with bib shorts or just regular shorts? Okay. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate those who have subscribed and, and I look forward to posting more and more videos this is I think my third video this week so I'm really trying to get the uh, content out so please subscribe please like and share this video and please leave a comment below I'd like to hear what you're thinking all right thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one